Father, we thank you for this day, and as we've gathered in front of friends and family and loved one, we ask for your presence. Presence over us as these two entwine their when lives. I found you, I found somebody who cares. When I found you, found my most intimate prayer. When I found you, I found what every heart dreams of. When I found you, I found love. When I found you, I found the rest of my life. When I found you, I told all others goodbye When I found you I saw my fears fly away Like a dove When I found you I found love are about faith, hope, and love. We live in a broken world, but not today. We come to celebrate these two and the love that they share. In a broken world where many times relationships suffer from brokenness, these two have found each other. They are a shining example that love will win, that evil will not have its day. If you're here, and you're married, this day's about love. It's a reminder of what a special gift it is to find someone to spend your life with, to share and love and live in servanthood with. If you're here and you're single, this day's about hope. <laughs> hope that just as these two have found each other, God has someone planned for you as well. And if you're here today and you've been divorced, this day is about faith. Faith in a God that wants to redeem everything that's broken, including your life. Put your trust in Him for what your future may hold as He puts the pieces back together. Faith, hope, love, that's what this day is about. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Put that in there. And we take a moment and remember Milton in this time of celebration. All right, all right. Now I want to charge you two with a couple things from scripture because it's God's word that provides a blueprint for a happy and healthy marriage. It's his word where we get the idea and context of marriage. And so in Matthew chapter seven, it says, do unto others what they, what they, what you would have them do to you. So seek to put your, 
itself in your partner's shoes. Proverbs chapter 27 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one can sharpen another, and so seek to bring out the best in your partner. Ephesians chapter 4 says, do not let the sun go down on your anger, so let's make a pact starting today. Even if that means long nights, we're not going to go to bed angry. And 1 Corinthians says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud or rude or self-seeking. It's not easily angered and it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. It always hopes, always protects. Love never fails. There will be times, I promise you, where you'll just want to give in, but love more because love never fails. There'll be times when the grass will look greener on another side, but just love more because what you build in love will never, ever fail. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day and as we've gathered in front of friends and family and loved ones, we ask for your presence. Presence over us as these two entwine their lives together permanently. Father, we give you thanks in advance for what you're doing in this family and pray your blessings upon them. Now, may their sober words tie them together forever in a bond. We ask it in your name. Amen. All right. Facing each other, holding hands. Vows are just promises, okay? Nothing special, just the most important promises that you'll ever make another person, all right? From the very beginning, when you wanted to tell someone you were taking it seriously, you said, I promise. That's a vow. I promise. This is true. So Damien, repeating after me, today and forever, I promise you my love. You are the love of my life and I will love you more each day. I promise you fidelity. I will cherish our union. I promise you my heart and body. They are no longer my own. I promise to be a faithful partner. No one, no job, no thing will compete with you for my devotion. Before the God of heaven and earth, I promise you. And repeating after me, today and forever, I promise you my love. Loving what I already know and trusting what I don't know yet. I promise you fidelity. Forsaking all others now and in the unseen future. I promise you my heart and body. They are no longer my own. I promise to be a faithful partner. Together our future will be marked by joy. Before the God of heaven and earth, I promise you. seal over your arm for love is as strong as death it's jealousy unyielding as the grave many fires cannot quench love cannot wash it away if one were to give all the wealth of his house for love it would be utterly scorned 
These are gonna be your daily meaningful symbols. They're made from a precious metal, so let them remind you as you wear them of how precious you are to one another. They are in an unending circle. Every day as you lay eyes upon these, it is a reminder that your love and life together is to be unending. Damien, take this ring, place it upon Andrea's finger and repeat after me with this ring. I pledge my love to you and receive you as my wife. I promise to be true to you until death do us part. So true. It's love to grease the wheel. Right. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Know it. And you take this ring, place it upon Danny's finger, repeat after me with this ring. I pledge my love to you and receive you as my husband. And promise to be true to you <laughs> until death do us part. Beautiful. Let's have one more word of prayer. Father, you have seen these two in the exchanging of their promises to one another. And now in the exchanging of these meaningful symbols, I pray that you would put a hedge of protection around them because they have made a choice to honor you, to honor each other, to create a place where your presence dwells. Father, we just give you thanks in advance for all that you're going to do in their life. We ask for your protection and provision as they continue to honor you in faith. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, just like that sand, mm -hmm. that can never be separated, so may you never be separated either. Now, because of the promises that you have made and the exchanging of these meaningful symbols, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Damian McGregor.
She's amazing. Thank you. Welcome to our tribe. That's official. Um, but you became my brother-in-law a long time ago. That your firsts have been extraordinary to witness. Thank you. Uh, you've been a lesson. You've been an inspiration. You've been a motivation. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've watched your love bloom. Blossom, uh, be incredible. Ordinary and extraordinary at the exact same time. And that's, that's amazing. You did that. Drake and Amy, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm happy for you today. I wish your union infinite blessings. And may you bring us that you've invited tonight the same joy we bring each other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my little sister and her husband, <laughs> Damien and Andrea McGregor. Raise your glasses and a toast to the bride and groom.